Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. And for today's tutorial video, we will be discussing the compound interest. The compound interest is the interest due at the end of a certain period is added to the principal and the sum earns interest for the next period. So these are the following that you need to know. We have the conversion period you will encounter annually that is equal to 1 semi-annually 2 quarterly that is 4 monthly that is K so we're going to use uh, that is 12 we're going to use K as our conversion so we have here for the future value we have the following formulas future value is equal to P quantity 1 plus R raised to T, wherein P is the principal, R is the rate, and T is the time. And that is the same as the formula here, F is equal to P principal quantity 1 plus R over K. K here is our conversion, conversion period, K times T. And if the unknown is principal, we're going to use this formula. F, or the future value, all over quantity 1 plus R over K raised to KT. And if the unknown is rate, we're going to use this formula. K quantity... Um, kt root of f over p minus 1 and time if the unknown is time we have log of base 1 plus r over k times f over p all over k so to better understand we're going to use these different formulas in our examples now let's solve this problem Find the maturity value and the interest if 10,000 pesos is deposited in a bank at 2% compounded quarterly for 5 years. To solve our problem, let us first determine the given. So our given, we have 10,000 pesos, that is our principal. We have 2%, that is our rate, 2%, right into decimal, that is 0 0.02, just move twice to the left, then write the decimal point. Then we have here compounded quarterly, so that indicates our K, our formula, K, and in our conversion period, quarterly means 4. And our time, which is 5 years or simply 5. Now we're going to get the maturity value and the interest. Okay. Let us find first the maturity value or the F. So F is equal to, copy the formula, P quantity 1 plus R over K, then raised to KT. Now let us substitute. P is 10,000 times 1 plus our R, our rate is 0 0.02, all over K is 4 raised to KT. 4 times 5. Now we have 10,000 times 1 plus 0 0.02. So to use your calculator, so 1 plus, then you press this function, we have 0 0.02 all over 4. We need to add that, that will give us 201 over 200 in decimal 
raised to 4 times 5, 20. Now we have 10,000 times, so 1.005 uh, raised to 20. That is 1.11. So multiply to 10,000. That will give us 11,048.96. Let us use two decimal places. This will be our future value. Now to get the interest, we just need to subtract the future value to the principal. So, interest is equal to F minus P. So, 11,048.96 minus 10,000. This will be our interest. So, that is 1,048.96. Okay. Of course, to answer this, you need to have your calculator. And of course, don't forget our conversion period and the formula. Now, let's solve number two problem. Pablo borrows 50,000 pesos and promised to pay the principal and interest at 12% compounded monthly. How much he repaid after six? years so again let us first find all the given so our given we have the principal which is 50,000 pesos we have the rate of 12 percent in decimal that is 0 0.12 we have compounded monthly in our conversion period, monthly is equal to 12. So K is equal to 12. And we have a time of 6 years. So 6. We're going to find the future value. Okay? Future value, the principal, and the interest. So future value, that is equal to P, quantity 1 plus R over K raised to K times T. Now let us substitute. <laughs> now using our formula, let us substitute the given. So our P is 50,000 times 1 plus our R 0 0.12 all over our k is 12 raised to 12 times 6. Now we have 50,000 times 1 plus. So you're going to add in your calculator. That will give us 1 plus 0.12 or all over 12 is 1.01 .01 raised to 12 times 6. That is. 72 okay. just press in your calculator 50,000 times 1.01 raised to 72 that will give us 102,354.97 uh, Pesos. This would be the money that will fall, return after, or repay after six years. Now, in our next problem, what if the missing is the principal? <laughs>